Dear listeners, in the evening on August 4th, 2012, Benjamin Kosainson received the following message. Shalom, in Jesus Christ's name, I come to you in his love and humility and meekness and long-suffering, who are called to pass on his messages. Benjamin, my name is Ruach. Listen carefully. Benjamin receives God's angels and passes on God's messages. If he would worship a messenger angel of God or the angels, this would happen to him as a chosen prophet. Acts 5 verse 5 And there it is written, And Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and gave up the ghost. We angels of God, spoke the messenger angel of God, worship Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. It is clear that it's known whom Benjamin worships. Otherwise, he would not speak to you. He who rejects him, rejects God. Colossians 3, verse 25 But he that does wrong shall receive for the wrong which he has done, and there is no respect of persons. Listen carefully. Marcos's father is a construction worker. When Marco who was seven years old, saw his father drilling into the wall at home. His father was his hero. Marco immediately asked for a hammer and a drilling machine and other tools. In his prayer, he asked Jesus Christ for that. Marcos's father heard his prayer and smiled. Four days later, Hip, hip, hooray! Now he was eight years. I am big, said Marco. When Marco unpacked the large gift, it was in it, the gift which Marco had prayed for, even the drilling machine. Philippians 4, verse 6 In nothing be anxious, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Marco was very angry. Everything was of plastic, and the drilling machine too, but on batteries. He was angry with his hero and everyone, especially with Jesus Christ. Later, the mother went to Marco when this mood had slightly calmed down. Then the mother said the following, Marco, Jesus must love you very much, because if you had received the same drilling machine as Daddy, you could have hurt yourself very much, and the consequences were not to be overlooked. When you pray, then Jesus Christ exactly knows what you need. Do not be sad. He knows what gifts suits you. Then, slowly, Marco radiated again. Thus the Lord also knows what is good for you. The most beautiful gift is allowing Jesus Christ in your heart. Invite him, and he will give you eternal life. And bring your sins to him and even that is forgiven. But go, and sin no more. Follow him. Shalom.